Larson of Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts and welcome. Today I'm going to show you um, the finished thread that I began spinning the other day. It's actually began spinning it two days ago and yesterday I turned it into a skein. It measured out at about 62 yards and that was just from three uh, little nests off of my cones. This will be plenty of yardage for a small um, embroidery project or maybe even a couple of them depending on how much pink is needed. And I'm super, super happy with how this turned out. It turned out really consistent and um, mostly a blend of the two colors that I use, but in some points the neon and the light pink pop out separately. Now if you can see here, I'm going to show you up against my finger, the uh, the thread turned out really nice and fine, but not too fine. I've actually done thread that is too small for embroidery, but is perfect for very fine weaving. Um, so this, I'm really, really happy with the result. It's just turned out beautiful. And after this, I'm going to take this thread and wash it so that it doesn't come untwisted when uh, mom goes to use it for embroidery. Um, if it's left for a long enough time, the twist will set and it won't come untwisted easily, but I like to just wash it and hang it and set the twist anyway so that it can be used as fast or as slow as she wants. You can see I just took it off the uh, Nitty Naughty um, and it wants to twist up on its own. That's normal. This is quite a high twist uh, thread. And, uh, happy with the results and if we're getting wind noise I apologize it's pretty windy out and uh, it is what it is so I'm gonna set these aside and as a bonus for this video I was gonna show you dressing and distiff for um, starting a new spin and this is from the same kit the Sakura um, Japanese cherry blossom which is post the February uh, kit for Napa Valley fiber uh, go check that out. The unboxing is such cool fiber. But anyway, my mom uh, chose this one as my next spin for thread. I'm going to do the same thing. And this is a multi merino uh, in beautiful shades of light pink, red, hot pink, and brown. And this is just really pretty. And I can't wait to see what it looks like spun out. So what I'm going to do I have everything attached to my clothing right now because it wants to blow away, is um, I'm going to sort of, well, maybe I shouldn't have detached that right away. Um, there we go. I'm going to sort of measure out for my distance about how long I want the pieces to be. And it's not going to take very much fiber. I'm going to go ahead and take them off this braid here. Everything is not wanting to behave because of the wind and uh, oh well, this is what we do with when we're uh, filming outdoors. So I'm going to measure off two pieces because that's probably going to be more than enough for thread purposes. So, ah, there we go. Then I'm going to stuff the rest back in my pocket so it doesn't end up in the next county with a stiff gust. So I'm going to take these, just sort of layer them on top of each other. I'm going to take my paddle distaff, which I made using a scroll saw and a piece of, I believe this is a half inch or a fourth inch thick piece of craft wood from like Home Depot or something. And uh, I'm just going to lay it on. And then I'm going to take my band here, which you can use a ribbon or even a cotton thread if you want. It's just to hold the fiber in place. And I'm going to wrap it around like so. And um, let's see. I'm not wrapping it too tight because I want the fiber to, I want to be able to pull it down. Um, so it's just a loose um, wrap. So let's see here. I actually want to go around the top too so that that doesn't flop down while I'm spinning. Alrighty. Alright, 
that's loose enough. I'm gonna just take that and I'm gonna take this corsage pin that I have here and pin it down. There we go. And tuck some of those loose threads in. And there we go. Now I'm ready for a new spin and uh, that'll be very fun. I'm currently using my Christmas bull sheep fibery spindle. You can see it's adorable reindeer here that have been 3D printed into a whorl on a metal whorl with a uh, hand uh, bent hook. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be a new spin and this one's merino, full merino instead of a nylon mix. And there we go. There's the beginning of another um, thread. And I can't wait to see how this turns out with this multicolored merino. This ought to be really fun. And I doubt I'll get it done in a day, but we'll see. So anyway, thank you for joining me for the unveiling of the finished skein of thread for embroidery um, and the demonstration of loading the distaff for a new spin. Stay tuned for more videos. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Ding the bell icon to receive notifications when we upload new videos, which we try to do as often as we can. And leave a comment letting me know what you think. I always love to hear and respond to comments. And if you have any questions, ask away. I love to answer them. Hit that like button too. As always, have a great day.